Well, AMD is set to release two new high-end 3D vCache CPUs, namely the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D and the Ryzen 9 9900X 3D. These chips will be based on the Ryzen 5 architecture and will offer improved performance, particularly in gaming and content creation workloads. And as we know, the 9800X 3D is an absolute monster so I can't even imagine how fast the 9900X 3D and the 9950X 3D is going to be. It is going to shatter Intel's 285K, I would imagine, completely. Unfortunately, though, we're going to have to wait for these CPUs because they are launching late January 2025. Who knows, that could be pushed out further into February. I suppose it's not that long. It's only a couple of months. And when they are released in February, I imagine, is when a lot of reviewers will get hold of the CPUs. And like I said, if the 9800X 3D outperforms in gaming, that is the Intel 285K, Mm, well, we know what this is going to do. Now, how AMD has managed to pull this off is no mystery. It's because of 3D vCache. And 3D vCache, in essence, just significantly increases cache memory. And that's wonderful for demanding tasks like gaming and other workloads. So the question, I guess, is why didn't Intel incorporate 3D vCache in their current generation of processors? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe they figured they still could compete on the same level as AMD without it. Because it's not like Intel doesn't know anything about 3D vCache, because they do. But what is happening is this. You have a processor from AMD, the X3D line, three down from the top. So you're seeing benchmarks now of the 9800X 3D, remember, three AMD processors down from the top using this 3D vCache, outperforming the very, very fastest Intel processor, the 285K. Now, we don't know, at least not yet, about the speeds of these processors, the 99X 3D and the 9950X 3D yet. And because how this is stacked, same as the 9800X 3D, overclocking should be possible, not much, but a little bit on these processors as well. So it's all good news. At least it is for AMD.